There was a great revival going along in the south. They heard about it up east and they sent three missionaries down, three men. They started walking down January the 1st. They got to the camp meeting, which was a couple of miles over here, uh, March the 3rd. They had one horse to carry their supplies. And uh, there was a couple of farmers and their families that lived two miles down this other way. And they were there and they heard what the Shakers were talking about and got interested in it and asked them to come and spend the night. They were the first ones to join. And then people started joining all around. The Shakers were, uh, when, during their services, church services, they would literally shake their bodies and tremble and whirl and twirl and the outside world gave them the name of Shakers because of that. So the Shakers believed in, first of all, equality, but this was a religious community and their theology dictated that men and women were both equal, but that since they were living in, in the millennium, uh, which was that Christ had already appeared here on earth. They were living on heaven on earth. There's no such thing as marriage in heaven. And in, in heaven you live as brothers and sisters. And to be able to help keep order and simplicity as well as enforcing the rules of celibacy, they kept separate quarters and had separate entryways. And it, throughout Shaker Village, if you see any building that just has one doorway, that means that one gender went through that doorway or went into that building or worked into that, in that building. But if you see, just like right behind us, we've got two separate stairwells, thus two separate spaces to be able to keep the sexes separate because that was part of, of their belief system. They were brothers and sisters. 